So here we are at Cosmotech in the Chelsea Private Clinic, and here I'm going to be undergoing the latest in male well-being, the sperm comet test. Okay, Professor Lewis, what is the sperm comet test? The sperm comet test is a, an innovative test to look at the inside of sperm. So why is there a comet reference in it? Where's, where's the comet come in? Well, here's a picture of a sperm comet, and as you can see, it's really like a celestial comet in the sky. But what it is, is fragmented DNA. You know that DNA is a double-stranded helix, but here, when the DNA is broken and you put it into an electric field, you can pull out all the broken parts of the DNA into the comet tail. And then, with a very sophisticated piece of software, we can measure the amount of damage in the DNA, and we can then, from that, diagnose the man's infertility, and we can also say which type of fertility treatment is most likely to work for that couple. So what's the difference between a, just a normal semen analysis and a sperm comet test? Normally when you do a semen analysis you just look at the outside, you count the number of sperm, you see whether they can swim, what they look like. But this is actually a test where we can look at the DNA, which is a really important part of the sperm in terms of what the father gives to his child. When I first heard about this test I thought, well I'm a 28 year old man, I've been drinking and smoking for the best part of maybe 10 years, I want to know what damage I've done to my DNA inside my sperm. I think that's a very important question and I think you're being very responsible thinking about that because that's the message that we, we want to get out to people. Now, the big difference between men and women is that women are born with all the eggs that they're ever going to have, but you lucky men produce new sperm every three months so that even at the moment if you find that you have damaged your sperm, if you change your lifestyle over the next three months and then have a retest in three months time, you could find that your sperm are much more healthy than the ones that you have produced today. So what do I have to do now? Well, here I have a little container and I'm going to direct you to uh, a private room where you can go and produce your semen sample for us. When you produce it, we're going to freeze it, ship it across to our lab in Belfast, analyse a lot of the sperm with the sperm comet until we have a, an accurate result, and then in seven days I'm going to talk to you again about how you did. So I'm back here after seven days at the Chelsea Private Clinic to get my results from the sperm comet test. Let's see what Professor Lewis has to say. Okay, Ollie, we, we've done the test and we've got the results. And I'm afraid to tell you that there is a little bit of sperm DNA damage. So years of smoking and drinking has taken effect on, on the DNA inside the sperm? It's not really surprising because you did admit to uh, having been smoking and drinking for about a decade. And I think that's had an impact on the DNA, particularly smoking because that leads to a lot of free radicals which can damage the DNA in, in every cell. But youth is very much on your side. You're only 28 and if you were to change your lifestyle you're not going to want to be a father for maybe another five, ten years and you have plenty of time to look after your sperm in the future and by improving your lifestyle you'll improve the quality of your sperm as well. So that was the sperm comet test and it wasn't the worst that it could have been. However, I'm fully aware I'm 28 now, and I've got to slightly be careful for the next 10 to 15 years when I do want to procreate. It's made me think an awful lot about sperm and fertility, and I think everyone out there, you should think too.